Hey guys, I'm John Sykes. I'm a student here at South Carolina, and I want to take a second to talk about stray animals. Growing up, my family was very involved with stray animals. Um, we fostered lots of dogs and cats, but in particular, what started it off was one dog in particular, an English bulldog named Winnie. And my mom actually found Winnie on the street. She had been abandoned and very defensive, very prone to biting. And it was difficult at first because it was clear that Winnie had been in a very difficult environment for her entire life. She was three years old at the time. And a lot of these bad habits that dogs and cats can get from abuse are very hard to work out of them. But over time with trust and with love, they can be reworked and they can be reintroduced into a family. And that's exactly what happened with Winnie. And she became a very good house dog. And it goes to show that these animals, when they're finally shown love and with enough time and commitment, abandoned and abused animals can still be great pets. And they still deserve love from other people and from people that deserve to be around them. And so my friends and family actually as well, my, um, some friends of mine, his mom does a lot of fostering for cats and all these, there's just so many animals and not enough places for them to go. So whether they're abused or abandoned or they just can't find a home, there are many animals that need care. And I did a survey for Columbia and for the USC area and I found that over 50% of people who responded have seen a stray animal on the USC campus itself. And that goes to show that there are tons of animals out here that just need a second chance, that need somebody to step in and actually do something. So I want to talk about Pets Inc., a nonprofit, non-kill organization that works to rehabilitate dogs and cats in the uh, South Carolina Midlands area. Pets Inc. was founded by Patricia McQueen and Jane Brundage in 1991 as a nonprofit, no kill animal rescue organization serving the South Carolina Midlands. The volunteer only operation was successful to a point that they were able to open a small adoption center working full time by 1993, and by 1998, they were moved to their present 13 acre site. Their mission is stated as to assist the South Carolina Midlands and surrounding counties with rescue, rehabilitation, and rehoming of unwanted dogs and cats through addressing each animal's physical and emotional needs, providing medical, nutritional, and rehabilitation services to ensure successful life, long adoptions, provide a low-cost, full-service veterinary clinic, including spay-neuter surgeries to help control pet and shelter overpopulation, and to bring public awareness and education about the causes and solutions to the dramatic plight of hundreds of thousands of homeless dogs and cats in the United States. Had we never found Winnie, she likely would have died alone, having been abused her entire life and then abandoned and never rescued, never being given the love that she deserved from a family that cared. Thankfully, that was not the case, and she was able to live a long life uh, with a family that really cared about her. But unfortunately for hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dogs and cats each year, suffer a much more unfortunate fate. So I'm asking you to please consider donating to Pets Inc. so that these dogs and cats can be given another opportunity to receive the love and care that they truly deserve. Thank you.